One of the reasons I wrote pop music is I think I wanted a chance to explore some of the darker, uh, harder things in life. Um, certainly some of the darker, harder things that have happened to me. Um, but through a medium that was energetic and not depressing, I guess. Sometimes we're so busy in life that we forget lots of things. And music is that thing that the minute you can hear an intro, you're like, oh my God, oh, I remember this. Or, or, or it can really, you know, tug at your heartstrings. Some of the themes in pop music um, are about loss and about grief. Um, and are also about kind of loss of dreams. It really explores a lot of our human emotions, our past, our memories, um, and how music plays such a huge part in that. The two-hander, we're on stage for an hour and 20 minutes, um, and it's non-stop, you don't get a chance to take a breath. It's incredibly moving. It's like, yes, you, you, know, you imagine two people at a wedding on a dance floor and that incredible music, but the story of both of you know, Kayla and G and both of their histories and their pasts and their, the journeys that they've been on as human beings, it's incredibly moving, especially towards the back end of the play. There's an awful lot of references from our sort of collective, collective childhood that uh, I relate to very much. I used to do exactly what G used to do on Sunday afternoon when I was listening to the chart show on Radio 1 and try and record your favourite songs and then press stop right at the point where the DJ starts speaking again. So then you could have a mixtape of all your favourite songs. The thing that's at the heart of pop music, what made me want to write the play is this idea that pop music makes promises it can't keep. And so the music you love when you're younger what does it sound like when you listen to it when you're older? Um, how is your life different to uh, the expectations you had? Um, but keeping it really fun and energetic 